everybody welcome back to the channel and to the next part of our alien domination challenge now i did actually start to play this through once before we had a little issue when joelle here aged up and i tried to change her outfit with a dress that i'd bought and it still kicked her out of the house so we've had to start again which is no major big deal it was only 20 minutes recording time lost i'm not going to get too upset about it so let's see what's going on here you are fine what i want you to do then darling is to come out here in a second and i want you to graft this with this one and i want you to graft this with this one and then i would like you to fertilize this because in the last one it died, talk to the plant and then I would like you to take a cutting from it and we will see where we get on with that. That's you taken care of. Oh, baby's crying. Oh, you're going in to take care of it. Good lad. Okay, you're very embarrassed and you're hiding from everybody. You're not allowed to do that. We have things to do. Okay, tend your garden. Go and tend your garden. Get that s sorted out, taken care of, all the rest of it. Nobody else has had babies yet. I don't know why, but I know he's got a couple of people pregnant. Harvest all of those. We may have to take a trip and visit each individual one and see. You are due to go into labour any minute. I'm fairly sure that that is going to happen this episode. You're happy and taking care of your sister. You're watching TV for some fun, which is okay. You're having something to eat. When you've had something to eat, can you come out here and water for... Oh, you can't work out your water. The plant doesn't need any water. Okay, fine. The plant doesn't need any water. I'm pretty sure that they do, but whatever. Okay, um... Then we won't worry about it. You can do whatever you need to do, darling. You are happy enough... Playing Sims forever, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. A little mister is asleep. Okay, so that's you, and we're going to move these over as soon as they are done, actually. Um, just because we want to keep all the stuff that's spliced together. So let's move you there, because these are all fancy ones, and they're just the plain ones. So that's fine. We've moved those over. We're keeping all the spliced ones together. Take care of that one. You're bored, mate. Why are you bored? Why don't you come and... Hmm. Well, maybe not because your brother's on there. And that's fine. What are you doing? Practicing programming. You're allowed to do that. You're a whiz kid? Yes, you go and practice programming then. Because you need to do five hours total anyway. And we're going to try and get this house cleaned up a wee bit. We need some extra money coming in. Right. You've acquired the programming skill, good lad. Right, you're still sleeping. You are eating and taking care of that. You, Harry, have you, don't hide from everybody. Did you tend your garden? Is everything taken care of? Come out here and start evolving everything, please. The sooner it's all evolved, the happier I will be because... It means extra money coming in and if we're going to be extending this house, we're going to need extra money. I built the room in the basement for you all to woohoo in and nobody seems to be using it so we can probably use it for something else like have a proper basement leading into the house or something like that and maybe have some extra rooms or something down there um, just because we can you know when bedrooms or games room or something like that why is that paused? Don't pause. We're probably going to run over on this episode a little bit because I seem to have paused the timer. But that isn't an issue, really. It's not the end of the world. Right, Margaret, darling, you are due to go into labour. You are. You're washing your hands. I want you to mop this up. Scavenge for parts. There. Anything need cleaning in here? No. Good girl. Does this need cleaning? No, it does not. Okay. Your energy is a little bit low, so do what I've asked you to do and then head to sleep for me please you're coming to the end of those let's evolve evolve we have to get through all of these they all need evolving up and it all helps his gardening skill at the end of the day as well and the more money we can get the better okay Luna darling how are you doing you've taken something else haven't you what's this lemon tree What's this one? Lemon tree. Right. Why don't we then move this great lemon tree over here? Just there. And have you graft it with that and see what we get from that. I'm not sure whether we are going to actually get anything 
fancy or whatever else but we have a great splice plant lemon and fang flower we'll have to see what we get off that when it becomes um harvestable you've gone back to bed that is fine what are you doing now darling you're throwing stuff away that's fine you're a good girl any bills no no bills okay harry my dear i would like you to keep evolving all these but some of them can probably be done tomorrow as well um just because i would like to see if we can get some people over today come on do that other one for me there we go um get some people over today and let's see who is actually pregnant we may actually um invite them over one at a time just so that we can see what's going on so when you've done all that i would like you to invite to hang out at current lot now who do we think is pregnant jada may well be pregnant liberty may well be pregnant and i think janice was pregnant i'm not sure if any of these it might just be easier to invite everybody over and throw a gathering in all honesty like it doesn't even have to be a long gathering he doesn't have to woohoo with anybody or anything like that. Um, I was hoping for just a nice quiet episode where we take care of the family and Margaret can go into labour and all the rest of it. But we do kind of need to know who's pregnant and who's not. Um, I know Cassandra was pregnant. So he could probably invite Cassandra over. Actually, when he's finished doing that, he can go and pee. Because his fun's up and when he's gone and done that he can invite to hang out at current lot Cassandra and we can see how far along she is actually on her pregnancy because I think we kind of need to keep an eye on these girls so we know where we're up to so when you've done that mate I want you to go and take a shower and then you can start a club gathering and you can have something to eat while they are all gathering um you sweetheart what are you doing you are absolutely fine so can you clean up everything for me oh look how heavily pregnant cassandra is she's ready to go into birth any minute okay any minute go and greet her um you can't invite her to stay the night because you don't have your own bed but you can ask to feel a baby you can ask baby's due date. I'm not sure whether she'll tell you and you can give her a hug. And she is still heavily pregnant. I don't think he got anybody else pregnant. I think she was the only one. I think she was, but anyway. No harm. No harm at all. Get your sister out and then while you are having a shower, we are going to start a gathering. Because all of these girls could be pregnant. Can we add somebody to the club? Why have we lost people from the club? Like, add Candy. Add Elsa. Because I don't think... Well, she could be your sister. I don't know. We're going to have to check. And add... Siobhan. Okay. And then we are going to start a gathering and see what goes on there. Um, He just needs something to eat once he's out of the shower. And here come the girls. Okay, who are you? You're Sophia. We didn't invite you over. Are you still in the club? Or maybe you are still in the club. You just come over and do the cleaning now. That's why we keep you around, okay? That is absolutely fine. We need to see. Okay, here's Liberty. Is Liberty pregnant? Come on, let's have a look at you. I don't think she is, actually. If she is, she's... Oh, there's a little bit of a bump there. She quite well could be. She quite well could be. Um, we can't ask to feel the baby so I don't know I don't know whether she is or whether she's not in all honesty they don't have to stay long anyway it's fine She's she does look like she could be but I don't know I can't I can't really tell at this stage in all honesty why are you going into him while he's in the shower right let's have a look who else is here well, you're pregnant, definitely pregnant, Yuki, and Siobhan is already pregnant with somebody else's baby, and we've just added her in, and Elsa looks like she could well be pregnant as well. Um, let's have a look. Elsa, can we have a look at our relationship with you, darling? Are you our sister? 
Are you our sister Elsa? Um, I don't even know how to check, in all honesty. There we go. Sister. Oh, oh well, your brother can get her pregnant. It's fine. It's fine. Not a problem. That looks like there's one at least pregnant. One is suspect, and here's Janice, and I think she may be pregnant again as well. But for some strange reason, we can't seem to ask to feel the baby. Uh, friendly introduction, because you've never really spoken to her. Um, more choices. Friendly, boast about family. I don't know. We can't ask to feel the baby on most of these, so... It's fine, it's fine. But it does look like there's definitely a couple pregnant. Um, she doesn't look that far along, but you just never know. Okay, so let's see what's going on. We're not going to keep the gathering going too long because I really don't like all these people around. He's busy with his girlfriend and that is fine. Absolutely fine. And then when you have done that, darling, I would like you to come and open the fridge and grab a serving of that. Oh, and there's our Joelle aging up. Now, I have learnt my lesson with this one. And I went with WizKid and we went with... What I actually did was just scroll up and down like this. Up and down, up and down. Not even looking. I closed my eyes and then I just stopped and I clicked. And what we got is self-assured. There we go. Okay. You don't look, darling, like you're dressed particularly well. But I am afraid we are just going to have to suck it up. We are going to have to suck it up. You are a pretty girl, though. You are a very pretty girl. Go away. Oh, he's your dad. That's why he wants to come over and hang out. You are a very pretty girl. Okay, there's too many people in this house. We have checked who's pregnant and who's not. So I am actually going to end his gathering right now. End the gathering. Let them all go home. We know that a couple of them are pregnant. Definitely pregnant. Um... And then there's some that we're not quite so sure of. Was she an elder, is that? Yes, that's why we kicked her out. Oh dear, well we'll get rid of her again in a minute. That's fine. Right, Luna darling, you look like you're desperate for a pee. You are, so head to the bathroom please. And then do you need anything else? Just uh, just your bladder. Just your bladder, okay. That's fine. You're getting into bed with your sister, are you serious? Okay. Go and pee. And then your hunger's not too bad, so um, it's not actually letting you eat at all, so that's fine. That's fine. You can do that and then you can head to bed, okay? So you go and do that. You are going to use the computer. What are you going to do on the computer? You're just going to chat to people. That's fine. I'll take you to bed afterwards. You're having something to eat. Oh, look at them two going for it. Okay. Um, she can't Sorry. stay the night. We can maybe ask her to leave because she needs to go and we need to get ourselves to bed so you can go and sleep. I don't know where, what you think you're doing with her, but anyway, ask her to leave. You are due to go into labour any minute, my darling, but you could probably do with getting up and cleaning out the spoilt food and then open it up and which one's that one? Can we grab a serving of that? No, we can't. We'll grab a serving of that and then you can go back to sleep. Okay, that's fine. Go and do all that. You are gone into labour. Woohoo! Go and get yourself something to eat while you're in labour, darling. Good girl. Okay, you are having something to eat and then I want you to head to sleep. After you've finished eating, that is fine. Your hunger's not that high anyway. Just leave it wherever you drop it. You, my darling, are already in bed. That's fine too. You're sleeping downstairs for some strange reason. You are in bed. You are in bed. And you are getting something to eat. That is fine. And when you've got something to eat, sweetheart, then we'll send you to bed. Where is our Margaret? Where did you go, sweetheart? You went back to bed. No, I don't want you to go to sleep. I want you to grab something to eat. Open. Grab a serving. And when you've eaten, you can go and have the baby. Okay? Go and do all that for us. You, sweetheart, come on. Are eating. And that is fine. Once your hunger levels up a bit more, then we will send you off to bed. So I was going to cut out here for the night, but it looks like Margaret has gone into labour. So we're going to hang on and see um, what baby comes along. 
and all the rest of it. Sorry guys, I've just had a very important message come through on my phone and I just need to um, respond to it. A friend of mine has um, relatives over and one of them just fell and hurt their head and they're on the way to the emergency room so... I wanted to make sure I at least sent good wishes before I carried on with the recording. I do apologise, but I'm sure you understand that in circumstances like that, it is better to be nice and polite and kind to people. Make sure that they know that you are thinking about them and things. I'm sure she's going to be fine. She just bumped her head as she slipped down the stairs a little bit. Um, but it could be a mild concussion. It happened a few hours ago and she's still got a headache and not feeling any better. So it's better to get it checked. Okay. Sweet pea. What are you doing? Don't browse books. Go to bed, okay? I want you to go to bed. Sleep. And you, sweetheart, you've had something to eat. You need to pee, right? You're not going to have the baby yet because you're going to wet yourself if you do. Or maybe you are going to have the baby, but we need you to pee. Go and pee. Don't think you can hang on. I think you're going to have that baby anyway. Go and have the baby and then... We will look at how big her stomach is. It looks like she's got triplets or something in there. Like, I'm not even kidding. It does. It really does. Okay, so what kind of baby are we going to have? We're going to have a boy. We're going to have a girl. And I've got my little list ready. So let's see. Let us see what we have. Come on, darling. I have to do that because apparently you guys all giggle when I do. Okay, so it's a boy and looking at my list then we are going to go with a suggestion by my good friend Crystal who suggested Cade and Crystal is a lady I met through the sims and through the channel but she's an absolute sweetheart so I am honoured to name him for you my darling pop him into the crib and go and pee before you wet yourself and then you can come back and feed him go on don't wet yourself too late too late just pee right near your new baby right well you can't you can't do anything other than feed your baby i'm sorry you're gonna have to stay wet and stinky change baby's diaper um feed baby and rock baby a little bit and then i want you to mop that up hop into the shower my darling and into bed and what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna cut out with the recording right here while she's taking care of this new one and um I'll get back to you when everybody is up in the morning. And welcome back, everybody. The kids have headed off to school. The house is a bit of a mess. Nobody went into labour overnight um, from the girlfriends or anything like that. John is late for high school. Yes, he is. So he needs to go to high school. Where is he? John. John, 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 where are you? Go to school. Go on, go to high school. I thought you'd all gone. You're already on your way. You're saying you're at school, so you left late, but you're on your way. It's fine. Go on. Off you go to school, mister. Don't do all that. Just just go. Just go. Right. Let us see. Let us see. What do you need, darling? Not very much. So why don't you come on in here? Oh, we had a fire this morning as well, so we kind of need to replace that. Which has cost a fair amount of money, but anyway, right. Can you go on here and can you hack the land grab systems? And can you hack the lamb corn, whatever it is? And can you please then hack the Lothario Trust Fund? There you go. There you go. Okay, you, mister, are absolutely fine. So I would like you... What are you doing? Can you water everything? Like, literally water the garden. And we've got some stuff that needs evolving, probably. But you go and water everything. You can come out after you've finished eating, actually. Just eat your food first. And then we'll worry about it afterwards. No, mister. Don't just water the one thing. You What are you watering now? Are you watering everything? Yes, okay. You are. That's fine. As long as you're watering everything, it's okay. Right. 
you're busy, you're doing whatever, what are you? You are fine, when you're finished eating then I would like you to come out here and I would like you to harvest everything, please. We're having a look at these, that's fine. Go and harvest everything and we'll see what we get from there. Um, and then your brother can get some evolving and other stuff done. Why are you tense? The fire's out, so you're fine. Go and harvest everything and stop it. Baby's crying, darling. You need to stop whatever it is you're doing and go and take care of your little one. Change the dirty diaper. That's all she needs. And then you can probably repair this for us and then mop up that. Let's get this house sorted. Have you finished what you're doing? You have. Can you go and pee? You can. And then can you come out here and start watering as well? That will take care of everything there. I don't think that actually needs to be harvested yet, no. But it doesn't need spraying for bugs. And yes, you can spray for bugs when you're done, okay? Because there's two of you at it, so why not? Let's get it all taken care of. See what money you get coming in. Darling, did you not go outside to water everything? Are you serious right now? Right. Come out here and water, please. Come along. Come on, water. I mean, it's possible we could hire a professional gardener at some point. No, we're not going. We're not going. It is possible, and we're going to have to go through everybody's um, inventory and stuff like that. Guys, if you could just hang on for me one second. My phone's going off. Yes, Freya. I will go and ask him, but you're going to have to give me 10 minutes to finish this recording, okay? Alright, bye. Sorry about that, guys. My daughter deciding that it was time for her to come home after all. And she is out with her friends. She's going to have to hang on a few minutes until I finish this recording. I can go and take care of the little one. Um, because obviously my partner is, has her right now and then he needs to go out so right come on let's get everything done let's get this garden taken care of you're doing well there Margaret's finishing cleaning up there she's a good girl when you've done that Margaret can you please scavenge for parts scavenge for parts see what money we can get and then I'm gonna to have to go through everybody's inventory and see if there's anything that we can sell so yes we had a small gathering earlier but we are um wait missus we are having a fairly quiet episode as compared to usual because usually we would we would have a huge amount of stuff going on a huge amount of people over and everything else um so I just think it's nice just to have a little bit of a chill out episode every now and again. Right, do any of these need evolved? That needs evolved. Let's get on with these. Let us get on with these. And your cues vocal. You can stop doing that and just get on with the evolving. Thank you. Oh, you got 79 for us. Thank you, darling. And you're feeling confident, that's a good boy. Oh, she just headed out there. She can head back into the house now. Does this need cleaning? No, it doesn't. Um, resume that then. No, not you. Silly, I'm looking at the wrong person. You can come back into the house, darling. Why don't you cook us? Um some grilled cheese and a family size party size of that sorry just so you've got something to do you are tense why are you tense have you watered everything you can water can you weed anything spray for bugs go do the spraying for bugs and you mate we're watching you we are we will add a few more of these to your list of things to do and your queue's full again never mind we will get there any of these be evolved it doesn't look like it
Come on, Luna, get us some more money coming in, my darling. We're gonna need it. Today's mail's been delivered and we probably have a huge amount of bills to pay. Yep, there we go. Okay. No problem, no problem. We will get it taken care of. Okay, mister. You can be evolved. You can be evolved. Don't think that can be evolved. I don't think this one can either. Okay, nope, can't be evolved. Okay. Neither can these. But some of these look like they can be. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. And there. How about these? No, they all look like they're done. Okay, so I think we've caught up on the evolving. I can't see any more sparkles anywhere, so I think that's pretty much taken care of. So he can work on that. Well done, you managed to get some more money for us. Good girl. Why are you throwing that in the bin, darling? Is it spoiled? Let's open this fridge. There's nothing in it. Okay, darling, so this is what I want you to do then. We've got that in there. Now can you cook us... Um, scrambled eggs and bacon so that the not you you're clicking on the wrong person again Um, there we go right cook scrambled eggs with bacon and a party size of that we're going to sell these because we need the money we're going to sell these and these okay we're going to have to go through come on Go through everybody's inventory now. You've got nothing for selling, my darling. You've got nothing for selling. You've got all those that can be sold, so let's get rid of those. You have nothing, but you have a decent amount of stuff, so let's get rid of all these goodies. All these goodies. And that one, and that one, and that one. That's more than the money that we need to pay the bills. Can you pay the bills? Yes, you can pay the bills. So that's another job taken care of. And I think, Harry, you've got your garden pretty much lined out. Have we got anything? Thought I saw a sparkling. No, I didn't. Good. Oh, wait, did I just see a sparkle? I did. We missed one. Come on, which one is it? It's not that one. Not that one. It's that one. There we go. These are all evolved and that will um, stand us in good stead for the next harvest. And we're just going to have to try and keep on top of that. How are you doing, darling? Did you finish? Are you still hacking? And that's fine. That is fine. So we've got excellent quality bushes and everything else being grown. Why are you eating again, darling? You don't need to eat, but anyway. You're not hungry. What you are, actually, is needing to pee, so... And there is my timer. So we're going to leave this episode right here, guys. We do know that there are a couple of girls pregnant for both Harry and Tommy. Um... We're just waiting on those giving birth. Luna is pregnant. Margaret has given birth this episode. And Joelle has aged up. So we've had quite a bit happen, even though we didn't have too many gatherings or tried to get too many people pregnant. As soon as um, Harry has had a couple more babies, we are going to be moving him out and in with Janice just to free up a little bit of extra space in the house because we have got a couple of adult boys that we're trying to get everybody, you know, trying to get everybody pregnant. We've got Margaret who's going to be trying to get pregnant again and Luna is going to need to get pregnant one more time until the heir is born then she's not going to be having any more babies but she is going to be sort of supervising what her kids are up to and all the rest of it if you're enjoying this series and you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up comments and suggestions as always in the comments box down below including baby names guys please flood me with baby names we'll put a list out and i'll just grab one at random from the list every now and again if you haven't hit subscribe yet then please hit subscribe now and join the family and i will see you all in the next episode ciao for now guys